Hi, everybody. It's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe. And today I will be looking at a video from Sarasota Tim where he seems to be part of a viral trend that's going around at the moment. And I don't think he's actually aware that he's part of it. And just let you know that anything in this video is for entertainment and for entertainment purposes only. And even though I am a registered nurse and studying to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, these are just my opinions and my opinions only. And I do not treat or diagnose anybody. Let's get into this reaction. Hi, so Tim here is over at the McDonald's. We're going to speed him up to 1.25 because, you know, we need him a little bit faster over here. And he is part of, it seems, the no buy challenge or the no spin challenge this year that's been going around. All right, Tim, take it away. Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim. How are you 130,000 beautiful souls doing out there? I'm in beautiful Las Vegas again, here at the Hampton Inn on my way to McDonald's to get another zing for Miss Tammy. And I'm, I'm not sure what a zing is. I'm guessing that's her Coke. And um, 130,000 people watching your video is probably a slight exaggeration at this time, Tim. I don't know where he gets his Tim math from, but he's certainly putting it out today. I made a review of my room. I made a review of the hotel. Uh, I released a video this morning of us at the Green River Ranch, something like that casino, where the uh, Pizza Rock restaurant is inside, among a bunch of other un unbelievable restaurants. Hank's. Uh, uh, are you trying to get like sponsorships or something with Yelp? Or I'm never too sure why you mentioned so many restaurants, Tim. E begging. The act of asking strangers for money online for whatever reason, without going through a charity. The beggar receives the money directly. Some beggars ask for items instead of money, such as begging for hotel stays or golf expenses. What is the consistency of your content? Because you started originally about social security and retirement and being a minimalist. And now you are like a tour guide like a really bad tour guide going around the United States. So just a little bit confused about your content direction. Okay, keep going. Steakhouse, uh, it's a very swanky place. I didn't mean to call it a steakhouse. Hank's uh, Steak and More or something like that. So wanky, Bubba. And then there's a, a sushi place in there, a whole eclectic array of restaurants at the, uh, I think it's called Green River, a casino that Johnny Vegas turned me on to. We, uh, there's a movie theater there. We saw Bad Boys 4 last night. Will you be using a mobile app? Uh, no, I won't. How can we help you? I'd like a large Coke. Okay. And can I get one plain biscuit with some butter and honey? Butter and? Honey. I think we're out of honey. Okay, a couple of butters. Maybe some, straw maybe some strawberry jelly or something. Two? Sure. If you can always ask at the after you pay at the, at the second window. Oh, okay. That'll be all. Well, they didn't tell me how much. <laughs> oh, Tim is already concerned about how much it's going to cost him. Uh, there's usually a menu board with prices. It's a Coke and uh, a biscuit, Tim. It's just... <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but this is his idea of content, is the McDonald's drive through and his ordering at the window. Okay. Not the breakfast of champions, but I guess that's Miss Tammy's choice. Let me get out my credit card instead of using my uh, phone. Like I always do oh. to um, oh. Oh. make my payment. Oh, he's mad because he can't get his app out. I guess he has to. Oh, he's mad. He's trying to give us receipts today. Oh, he's not happy. This is an unhappy man. What has this got to do with retirement? Let's see what we got here. Sure, okay. 
Wow, he looked unhappy today. How much is the order behind me? <laughs> Why do you need to know how much it is? If you are getting all these very generous coffee donations, and I saw that a gentleman left you like $50 because he bought you 10 cups of coffee at five dollars a piece on buy me a coffee why are you concerned about the price of the order behind you mm, let's find out 11 15 i'll take care of that i was just at 40 dollars. i got nailed for 53 dollars one time uh yeah okay um isn't it that People send you money through buy me a coffee. I mean, we're talking hundreds of dollars a month. And it is so that Tim can go and pay it forward for people and show what a good Christian man he is. And uh, he had to verify is like $11 the price of your generosity, Tim. Is there like a cutoff, like $40 too much on top of that? three dollars considering how much money you've gotten in comped hotel rooms and free lunches and golf games and free golf clubs and johnny vegas i'm just curious tim you seem very unhappy oh i guess the flies are coming out the wallet today or the moss i should say that was all right though you guys saw the video the grandkids Thank you. I know he's mad because we have been calling him out hard on the hater channels to ensure that he is actually really paying it forward. And he's been told that he needs to have receipts. And I guess he says he doesn't watch any of our content. And he tells his subscribers and his viewers not to watch any of us. But here he is obviously watching because he's having to show the receipts that he pays it forward. Hmm. Sounds like a little bit of a unhappy soul here from our 10 friend today. All right. Strawberry and butter? You don't have any honey, I suppose. Why don't you just go to the Walmart? Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Oh, that's a big coat. <laughs> Thank you. See you there? Good things come. Last couple of times we went to uh, uh, oh. the um, McDonald's. Thank goodness the person beat the horn and, you know, showed their absolute, you know, gratefulness that Tim paid it forward because he got real upset one time when he said that somebody didn't give him a big thank you so he needs to have recognition because as we know it's all about tim so i guess he got some sort of special deal because of the fact that he did something at the mcdonald's mm, i guess you didn't get it on your app today tim so you can't get that special call where's your best cup of coffee ever there's a distinct laugh of lack of coffee there today they told us they don't have any and i got it I got it because we did something nice for somebody. <laughs> now, that's the first time. And I did do that intentionally. It's not to prove. You guys all know in the community. I get these comments sometimes say, let's see the receipt. Why don't you ever video doing that? I'm like, come on. I use my selfie stick and my phone to pay with Apple Pay for 100% of what I spend my money on. So that um, it goes on my uh, receipts for taxes and whatever. Oh, okay. But, uh, I just wanted to show you ah, an example. Okay. I've always said that Tim wants the tax write-off. I guess I'm correct that he is writing off even his coffee on his taxes. I guess it's every time he does anything and he goes to a restaurant and because he's making content, it's a tax write-off. I don't think you can write food off like that quite as much as you think, Tim. There were some changes in the laws, I understand. Okay. I hope you have a good accountant. Now I do ask, unless it's in the in the store itself. Uh, how much is the order behind me? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna be very honest. With you. Oh my goodness! Already, already, I have to bring this character out for us. Oh my goodness! I didn't think I was gonna have to do that. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I actually had to bring Woody Woodpecker out today and I did not think he was going to come out so soon. <sighs> okay, Tim, let's keep going. Blood. When I first started doing it, um, somebody did it for me. And I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. When I first started doing it, I would ask, how much is the order behind me? And they'd say something like, I don't know, eight dollars whatever all right thanks <laughs> i ain't kidding you i was just looking to buy a cup of coffee and a biscuit or a sandwich you know under five dollars and you know and the only reason i asked back then the only reason i asked was because if it was going to be 20 something dollars i wasn't going to do it no i have a limit now i got nailed for 53 oh keep going dollars in uh saint george i went up I oh my goodness <laughs> But Tim, people send you hundreds of dollars through your buy me a coffee. Oh, he's irritated. He had to, you know, because I've especially have been asking for receipts on this buy it, pay it forward. Oh my goodness. Okay, keep going, Tim. I knew it was going to be expensive too because you, you. I've interviewed people that said they have left California because two number two Big Mac meals is thirty bucks or something, and everything is expensive. So, you know, I videoed this nice uh, guy and his uh, wife coming. I knew they were their grandkids. They had three. So there's five people and he ordered anything they wanted. He didn't know what I was going to buy. <clears throat> and then in the end, he goes, oh, and add this. <clears throat> and so I'm sitting here waiting to pay. Uh, I paid all right. Fifty three. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's coughing because he can't even contain himself for the amount of money that he spent. It's like, <laughs> it's like too much money for Tim. Dollars at McDonald's. So, yeah, I ask. I mean, that was $11, and that was pretty generous in my opinion. I'm sure the guy was very happy about it. People are happy about getting a cup of coffee. It really thrills them. But, you know, I buy, you pay. <laughs> hey, listen, folks, I do have a buy me a coffee link in the uh, description box of mm. all my videos. And it's free of charge. All you do is click on it, and you can donate. <laughs> yeah, it's not free of charge when you are – having people spend their money to send you coffee and i have a buy me a coffee link too down below if you want to send me one but i already got something wonderful thanks to all my audience viewers and that is that amazing flexi spot power lift xl recliner oh my gosh that thing the spa experience after this video i'm gonna need to get that heat on my back and the massage on my shoulders uh, because of the fact that I've have Tim and I, you know, get always stressed <laughs> from listening to him. <sighs> <laughs> I buy you pay, man. Johnny and I are wearing that out. We, um, Tammy thinks it's immature and silly and all that. Mm -hmm. But when I played golf with Vince in um, uh, Lake Havasu, I met him in uh, Bullhead City at uh, Lakewood Laughlin Ranch, a golf club. <clears throat> he he come up with that saying. I copy everything, folks, uh, because copying is a form of flattery, like we were saying earlier. No. And all my sayings are copies. I just, uh, what if I can go up here now? Nah, yeah, turn here. Does that mean you don't have an original thought? <laughs> I mean, not that I have things. One of my subscribers, or should I say channel watchers, recommended I use the Woody Woodpecker. So there you go. Um, I like copying things that are funny from movies and uh, friends that I esteem and, and all that. But uh, it's a beautiful day here in Vegas. <clears throat> We're starting the morning out very nice. Today it's uh, lunch on me uh, because Johnny Vegas bought dinner on him uh, last night. He continues to zell me and then I'll zell him. Um, we got him a gift while we. Why are we talking so much about how you? Is this the first time in your life you've ever been able to be this generous with your friends? He's really laboring this point today. Oh my goodness! Keep going, Tim. Here in uh, California, uh, you know Johnny Vegas <laughs> is a golfer, and uh, he is unwittingly part of the no spend challenge <laughs> that, that they're having currently on TikTok or wherever it is. Oh, my goodness. Keep going, Tim. So we got him a very nice gift that I'm sure he's going to love. He's always, every time I meet him, he's got a gift for me. You know, he's got a golf club and golf tools. Uh, gave me a golf set. Uh, it was a loaner originally. And then he said, keep them. 
And then he said, I just need the uh, the driver and the three wood back. And then he said, keep those. Then he buys me a five wood and these other gifts. And then the little uh, picnic thing we got for the camper with a mustard and ketchup. And then he's bought dinners and everything a, a few times. Is it just me or is it just really strange that this man is giving you so many gifts, Tim? I, I'm not sure. I'm curious. Uh, but yeah, interesting. Where do I go in? Not here. And we've we've bought him too. Uh, but I think he won't let you out give him. I, I think he's still on top. I might leave him on top. Come on now. Where are you, how do you get in? Where's the Hamptons? It's way up there. Oh, boy. You know, folks. Maybe if you were just driving and not talking <laughs> and trying to sort of prove a point about what a generous person you are with Johnny Vegas, who, if we all remember, Tim wanted nothing to do with Johnny Vegas originally. He had no interest in meeting up with this person, but I guess the lure of freebies just couldn't keep our no buy challenge friend away from him. Without a GPS, you couldn't go anywhere. I see it over there, but I can't get to it from here. You can't get there from here. It's so funny, I, I, I really thought that was the, the way. <laughs> Can I get there down here? Oh. I'll have to edit some of this boring part out. But I'm looking around here at Holmes, here in um, Henderson. I'm on Horizon Ridge Parkway now. I hope mm. I get back down to St. Rose Parkway. The roads are wide. They're Is that leftover money from that illegally taken EIDL loan, apparently, in my opinion? How do you have this money for the house? I guess we're already spending Tammy's inheritance from poor Dwayne, hey? Mm, good stuff, Tim. Keep going. Smooth. They're striped. <laughs> they're amazing. And every business looks like it's doesn't even have a smudge of dirt on them. The buildings are perfect. Uh, they got the tile, Spanish barrel tile roofs. Can I get there from here? All the stores look like they were just built. And get this. When I Googled what year was the Green River Casino, uh, Green River Ranch, it was opened in 2001. That place is 20. Can you not scream Nouveau Riche without screaming Nouveau Riche or OCD or am I not treating diagnosing? But you just certainly do have sort of personality traits where everything, you, you have to appear a certain way, but on everybody else's dime somehow. It's you're quite the character and not in a good way, in my opinion. 23 years old. It looks like it opened yesterday. I mean, it's just crazy beautiful. I'm in the wrong place again. Well, that's because you're refusing to use your GPS because you don't like it talking when you're trying to film your content. <laughs> But for some reason, we have to have 15 minutes of this, whatever this is today, other than you showing receipts because we said we don't really believe you're paying it forward. And I guess your coffee donations are drying up on the buy me a coffee. So you've got to try to uh, get it out to your audience again and actually show people because maybe people were stopping their donations because they didn't see that you were acting like a question man. Yeah, I, I don't know how to get there. Where's Hampton Inn? Is this it? That's Best Western. I'm nowhere near it, folks. I am nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. Mm. This is funny. No, you don't look like you're laughing, though, Tim. You look irritated. The McDonald's is one mile from <clears throat> the hotel. I thought that was it. It's got the red writing on the roof and everything. I tell you, man. It's rough getting old. I'm going to go down here now, and I can't cross over, so I have to make a U-turn. I don't care. I Tim, you're 65. That's not exactly old. Old is like well up in your 80s, you know, and you're far from that. Uh, you need to stop using age as an excuse. You're not even technically retirement age in the United States. You just decided to take early retirement because you decided you didn't want to work anymore, and you'd rather get that free money. But uh, you're probably doing more work with YouTube than you've ever worked in your life. I got time. She's just sleeping in there. <clears throat> you know, I get up at five in the morning or earlier. 
I hit the ground running. Here comes the car fast. I'm going to go faster. Here we go. Why don't you just Let's check her thing and see if there's any diamonds and sparkles. Oh, yeah. But if I don't get back, it's going to be just water. Do we see Hampton Inn anywhere? I don't see it. Use your GPS. Put your building over here. Use your GPS. Uh, folks, I don't care if it's 150 degrees. I would live right here. Of everywhere I've been, over Carmel, with the great weather, Monterey, I, really, I, I got no use for any of that up there because it's way too crowded, way too much traffic. Everybody from all over the world is coming there. Well, yes, because it's summertime and it's beautiful and they have beautiful cypress trees and it's gorgeous to look at. You just cannot appreciate even the beauty of California. You just want empty areas. So maybe being in the desert is a perfect choice for you, Tim. Until it's out of water. But right here, I got room. Right here, I got everything I need. Right here, I'm retired. I got my free check coming in. I find somebody to collaborate with me on a sticks and bricks. Or they got RV parks. I'll, I'll adapt. Uh, I'll do uh, whatever I got to do. I wanna Interesting that would collaborate on sticks and bricks. So is your plan to try to get Tammy to move out to west far from her family failing at this time? Do tell more, Tim. Do tell more. And you, you, the RV, you've been staying in hotel rooms recently, so you're not really staying in the RV. And you complained about the heat in the RV and where you were and how the people were there. I, th I think you can find a complaint for about everything, actually. I don't live here. I'd like to live here. I wish God could make me live here. But T's not going to live here. And she actually loves this area. Maybe when I get her out this morning, she'll fall in love with it and want to move here. What do you think? No. Not <laughs> ever. It doesn't even matter really how good it is. I mean, she wouldn't live in Laguna. She, mm, that's a tough one. <laughs> Probably wouldn't. I'm serious. Mm, that's how. I, I really already. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay, Kim, keep going. How much she's addicted to her family uh, and being close. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's millions of people like that. She's not the only one. I'm not like that. Uh, my family, we've all been separated since we were, you know, right after we were born. <laughs> we all went our own ways. I have a different family. And that's even his children. Because Tim was, we know, was pretty hopeless as a dad. All right. His, oh, keep going, Tim. I got, I don't know, six dads, seven moms, all kinds of three quarter inch uh, brothers and sisters and half buds. And yeah, we're all, it, it's a, it's a dilly. I'll give you a story one time. You probably like to hear about it. Mm. I started telling my friend, uh, mm, unless you're telling it to your therapist, I don't think anybody should be listening to that story. Jerry about it. God rest his soul. And, uh, I got about, I don't know, a minute and a half into it. Goes, That's good. <laughs> he was one of these guys born and raised in the same house town. His kids never been anywhere, moved anywhere. He went down to Mississippi to the casinos, and he went to uh, Panama City a, a few times for his vacation. Other than that, he's never been out of Marietta, Georgia, is how he says it. Marietta, Georgia. God rest his soul. I got a lot of his sayings, folks. And one of them is, you can't believe a damn thing I say. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> and one thing I got, plenty of money. Both from my dear friend Jerry. God rest. You have plenty of money? Is that through your buy me a coffee or through YouTube? Where are you getting all this money? Are you free social security? I love how he calls it free. Mm. His soul. He was a funny one, man. Man, was he funny. All right, folks, we're back here at the Hampton Inn. Let's go give uh, Miss T her zing and biscuit, and then uh, we'll continue this conversation uh, and uh, go down and get some breakfast and get out and enjoy before we get with Johnny Vegas uh, for lunch later. I got to get some steps in and burn some calories. I don't even know if I'm going to eat any breakfast. You know, I can't wait to get back to Planet Fitness and, and get my uh, my gym thing going on. I really, man, this lack of exercise, when you get to be older, it'll start packing on you. And believe me, I got to do well, something. That's because you and keep, I will do something because... I you keep kidding up McDonald's. That's why. Oh, gosh. we got uh, I guess he's going to say he's crushing it. <laughs> Bets down below. I know how to crush it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't think Tim's crushing anything today. Oh my goodness. So yeah, Tim seems to be part of that viral trend of the the uh, no buy for a year, <laughs> getting all his stuff for free. And thanks again for all of you who watch my videos. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please subscribe to the channel. Leave me a like, hit the um, algorithm up for me. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part of this video was or not your favorite part, even better about Tim. And we wanted to always thank all of the folks who make sure that they are helping me with my channel, my community members, and we'll see you on the next one.